Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. And today it's lunchtime at the Young's house. We are all starving and boy, do I have an amazing recipe for you all. I'm gonna show you all how to make orange glazed Pollock. Have you all ever tasted Pollock before? Pollock is an amazing fish. It's kind of thick and it's nice and flaky. Now, this recipe can be used for any type of fish that you would like to use. Absolutely it can. Here's what you'll need to make Jeannie Young style orange glazed pollock. Okay, so here are the ingredients. We have some pollock here. It is still a little frozen, but guess what? It's okay. It's perfectly okay, okay? Cook it thawed out, cook it frozen, whichever would be just fine. So I purchased my uh, Pollock from, from uh, I was gonna say from great value, from Walmart, and it comes in this bag here. All right, it's boneless and it's skinless. All right, I have some Parmigiana Reggiano, okay? Now that's gonna be used for some asparagus that we're just gonna make on the side with our um, baked Pollock, and we're just gonna throw the asparagus in the oven at the same temperature, same cooking time, right beside the fish in the oven. So now I have two oranges here, two navel oranges, and I have fresh curly parsley. You're gonna need paprika, olive oil, sea salt, and right here I have cold pressed orange juice. This is freshly squeezed orange juice with the pulp. I have cracked black pepper, garlic powder, 21 seasoning salute. If you can't find this, just use any type of seasoning that you would like to use. But I will tell you some of the ingredients that comes in this. You get onions and spices, um, celery seed, cayenne pepper, parsley and basil and marjoram and bay leaf, oregano and thyme. This right here is absolutely amazing and it actually has orange peel in it, okay? And citric acid. All right, so then over here you can see that I have some cornstarch. The cornstarch is gonna be used as a thickener so that we can make a nice orange glaze for our beautiful fish. Now, first thing that we need to do, let's go ahead and start on our asparagus. Asparagus are really easy to cook. It's not hard. You can pretty much do anything you want with asparagus and they're gonna turn out amazing. We're gonna put these in the oven. I do have other asparagus videos. If you haven't seen me make asparagus, feel free to check that video out. Now you wanna make sure that you wash your asparagus off. Make sure that your hands are impeccably clean and let's get started. Now, let me grab a knife. And we're just going to chop the bottoms off, okay? There's a woodsy end that's kind of, tastes kind of woodsy if you bite into it. So you don't want that part, just discard it, okay? Which is about this much of the end, all right? This right here is the good part. Now, all we're gonna do, we are simply, and I've washed these already, we're simply going to pour some olive oil I have a Californian extra virgin olive oil that we're gonna pour on top of our asparagus. It's really this simple. And what this is gonna do is gonna help for these to remain nice and juicy, okay? As well as give them a great flavor. And it's also gonna help for your spices to adhere to the asparagus, okay? I'm just gonna go in with my hands and I just wanna move them around in the olive oil in this manner, okay? And then, next, we're going to season them. When I make asparagus, you don't have to use too much seasoning. You do not have to use too much seasoning. What we are gonna do is we're gonna take the rind of some of our orange rind, not the pith, not the white part, but just the yellow, the orange part, I'm sorry. And we're gonna put some of this orange rind right on top of our asparagus. It's gonna give an amazing flavor. Is, Dion's in there. Is, um, is this gonna taste like orange? No, it's not, but this is gonna give amazing flavor. Trust me when I tell you this, okay? 
So just kind of distribute it all over. And once we move it around, just like this, it'll be all over. That little bit will go a long way. Trust me when I tell you this. Okay. Then we're gonna use some sea salt. Don't get crazy with the sea salt. All you need is a little bit. A little bit's gonna go a long way when you're making asparagus. Beautiful. All right, cracked black pepper. Get you a nice amount on there. Don't be afraid to season your foods. Only season you need to worry about would be the salt. And if you need a low sodium, or a salt substitute, feel free. Feel free to use a salt substitute. Now, sometimes I'll use fresh garlic, but today I'm gonna to use garlic powder. Garlic powder is gonna give you an amazing flavor. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Let me get all that beautiful orange rind onto here. Let's toss these so that all of the spices can be evenly distributed once again, just like this. These are gonna go in the oven right beside your fish, and they'll probably only take maybe 12 to 15 minutes, but what I'll do is I'm gonna let you know exactly how long they took to cook, okay? So I'm just gonna set this aside, and we are gonna put Parmesan, this is a fresh Parmesan Reggiano. We're gonna use this, but it's gonna to be towards the end of the cooking process. As soon as I take these out, I'm going to get some nice Parmesan Reggiano, and I'm just gonna put it right on top, okay? And then the asparagus is done and out the way. I'm just gonna set this aside, and let's get started on our fish. One more thing, everybody. What I wanted to do is I wanna put a tablespoon of butter right down over top of our asparagus. It's gonna melt and it's gonna give absolutely amazing flavor, okay? I almost forgot, I'm so glad I didn't forget because that's really important. You wanna use some butter because it's gonna make it taste amazing. Okay, everybody, we have our Pollock in our baking dish that we're going to use. Now, the first thing that I'd like to show you how to make the orange glaze. The orange glaze is really simple. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I have a tablespoon of cornstarch. Let's start out with a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. Okay, let me make sure this is a half. All right, the cornstarch is gonna serve as your thickener. All right, that's how that's gonna work. And believe it or not, it will thicken right before your eyes. We're going to take the cold pressed orange juice. We're going to pour it into our cornstarch mixture. We're going to give it a nice whirl with a fork. If you wanted to use a whisk, feel free to use a whisk as well, but you want to make sure that you get all of that cornstarch well incorporated. Okay? Like I said, this is what's going to be your thickener. And it'll have a nice, beautiful, glossy color. Okay, so then we just set that aside. I'm not going to season the bottom of the fish. If you wanted to season the bottom of the fish, you can. It's really up to your discretion. The reason why I'm not going to season the bottom is because if I put spices on the bottom and then I pour my liquid in, the spices are just going to run off. So I'm just going to season the top, and here's how I like to do it. We're gonna put some sea salt. Don't get crazy with the sea salt. Just a little bit goes a long way, but you wanna make sure you season every layer of this dish. You wanna be able to taste the seasoning. Here's the thing, if you're that person that's afraid to season your food, then your food's not gonna taste good. <laughs> and really, it's that simple. Okay, let's put some cracked black pepper. You have to use that cracked black pepper. It's amazing. It has antioxidants, and it's gonna make just about everything you make taste absolutely amazing and it's going to give great color as well okay i like to put a nice amount in mind all right we are going to use some butter let me grab a spoon and put you some butter put you some right there okay and put you some 
just maybe this way. And it's all gonna spread out, absolutely it is. It's gonna give that amazing buttered flavor. Even though we're gonna use some olive oil, we're still gonna use the butter because the taste is outrageous. <laughs> you have to have butter. Now we put the sea salt, the cracked black pepper. Now let's put garlic powder. If you wanted to do a fresh garlic, then you can. But I highly suggest not to use the fresh garlic unless you saute it up a little bit because no one wants to bite down. No one wants to bite down into a raw piece of garlic, all right? I just put a nice amount of garlic powder in, all right? This here, 21 seasoning, salute. Amazing, amazing taste, beautiful. When you bake a fish, you wanna make sure that your fish has beautiful color on it, okay? Because if it doesn't, it'll just be kinda of plain and maybe no one will wanna eat it, okay? You wanna make everything that you make look nice and beautiful, okay? We're gonna take some turmeric and I'm just gonna Put it on here just like so, just a little bit. Turmeric is gonna give you a beautiful color. That's what I'm using it for. And not to mention, it's gonna give you some nice flavor. Okay? And then we're going to use paprika. Paprika, beautiful paprika. If you wanted to use dried parsley, you can, or fresh parsley. I think what I'm gonna do, I have the fresh parsley here, but I think I'm preferring to use the dry. The fresh parsley will actually burn in the oven. So we're gonna put some dried parsley on there. And it's gonna keep this nice and beautiful. Okay, it's not gonna burn. It's just gonna give it a beautiful color. And I'm just kinda squeezing it between my fingers in this manner. Okay, just like this. Ooh, yeah, it looks amazing. Who wouldn't want this? Like this looks gorgeous already, right? You fish lovers out there, you are gonna absolutely love this recipe. Absolutely you will. Now, here's the fun part. We're going to take, let's see if y'all can see me. Take the orange, and we wanna cut a couple slices. Let's see, I'm gonna use this one because I have plans for that one. All right, let's slice up some nice slices. Not too thick and not too thin, just kind of medium size. It's gonna give you beautiful flavor, okay? And it's for a nice presentation as well. This is gonna let off that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flavor as well as our fresh orange juice. But I put this on there because it just makes it nice and beautiful. See that there? Perfect. All right. Now, you take your orange juice and your cornstarch mixture. Okay, everyone, now, let's take our olive oil. Be gentle, guys, be gentle. I don't want you to just throw that olive oil on there and you wash all of your spices away. Just gently put a little bit, a little drizzle over each piece, but not too much. Just enough so you can taste it. It can keep your fish nice and moist, okay? It's gonna give it amazing taste. Just a little bit if you can, all right? Beautiful. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you one thing. You all never had this before. You better make you some because it's absolutely amazing. Hoo-wee. Now, if you're a person that says, no, but Gina, I really can't do the cornstarch, then don't do it. Okay? Just use regular uh, orange juice, but your orange juice won't get thick unless you were to use cornstarch or flour you know, or like a gravy thickener or something like that, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda move, see how I'm moving my fish up a little so that my orange juice mixture can go underneath and not on top of our beautifully seasoned fish. Can y'all understand that? See that? Beautiful. 
get down underneath this beautiful fish and I want you to bake up and get nice and beautiful and show the world what you can taste like. This Pollock right here is amazing. You can also do this recipe with Orange Ruffy. If you all can find Orange Ruffy, use it. Use it on your next baked fish. It's amazing. Okay, see that? 300. And 75 degrees is what I have my temperature on. Let me bring this close to the camera. See how I didn't pour it all over the top of our beautiful chicken uh, or our fish? The reason why, like I said, I'll say it again, is you didn't want to rinse off all of that. So you take the time to lift them up and put the juice underneath. These are going in the oven. 375 degrees. When it comes out, I'll let you know how long it took to cook as well as our beautiful asparagus. Everything's going in the oven. It's not going on the top rack. It's going in the middle rack. You don't wanna put it on the lower rack cause it'll burn. The higher rack, it'll burn. The middle rack will do you just perfect. Okay, everybody, while we have everything in the oven, let's go ahead and start um, grating our Parmigiano Reggiano. If you can get a hold of a nice, fresh, block of Parmigiano Reggiano, I highly suggest that, okay? Because it's gonna give you the best flavor. Now you can go out and you can buy the powder kind and you can buy the kind that's already shredded for you in the bag, but this one right here is gonna what's gonna give you that beautiful flavor, okay? And you don't need too much. You see, I don't have too much asparagus that we're cooking, but you at least need at least a half a cup and this is going to go on right at the end as soon as we take the asparagus out of the oven. And it's just sitting right beside the fish in the oven on the middle rack. I think this right here is enough. Beautiful. We have a little bit of orange rind in there as well, but hey, no worries. Okay, everybody, our beautiful asparagus are done. They cooked in the oven 375 for only 12 minutes. 12 minutes is gonna give you that perfect texture. It's not gonna be mushy. It's still gonna have some bite. Now our fish, I'm gonna let our fish cook for five more minutes and it's done. And then we're gonna say a prayer over our beautiful food. I'm gonna let y'all know what it tastes like. Oh, but before, let's go ahead and take our beautiful Parmesan Reggiano put it right over the top and you don't have to cover every part of the asparagus. You want them to be able to see the asparagus, but still get you some cheese on there so they can taste that amazing flavor. Look at this right here. Match made in heaven. Hoo -wee, look at them bad boys. Here's our beautiful food. Now our fish cooked for 25 minutes. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful meal today. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. We pray that no weapons formed against the young family shall prosper, and we bind the devil away from every area of our life. Lord, I thank you for my subscribers and my viewers, and I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. I pray that you bless over their lives and keep them safe in your arms, and I pray for their families as well in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the roof over our head, the food that you give us, and the love that you give us daily. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. All right, now, let's get down to business. Let me grab a spatula. Amen, if I didn't already say amen. All right, I'm going to grab... Me personally, I want two nice pieces. Look at this. And you'll see where the orange, look at this. See how it got nice and thick? Oh, it's not runny, it's thick. It's amazing. It has a great taste. I wish that all of you would run out right now, make this, get the ingredients so you can make this and let me know what you all think about this recipe. Ooh, wee, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. You all never had this before? Better make you some. Woo, look at that bad boy. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's make our plate here. I just want, I want to slice down into my orange so that I can just make it nice and beautiful. Just like this, in this manner. And we'll take the fresh parsley and we're gonna do a number like this. 
See that right there? Mm. And what you all can do, let me show you something. If you don't want to pour the sauce directly onto your fish, then you take a little ramekin and you put this, be this beautiful orange glaze. You pour it over your asparagus. You pour it over top of your fish. You dip your fish and your asparagus down in this beautifulness. Look at this right here. Matter of fact, I have to taste this. I can't take it any longer. Okay, let me, let me blow it. <sighs> taste this, guys. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, the most beautiful taste you ever want to taste. And it was so simple. So simple to make. Ooh, I want to grab a few of these asparagus. Uh, we've already tasted the asparagus, and they are amazing. Mm -hmm. A lunch fit for a queen or a king. Mm -mm -mm. Let's dive in right now. Woo, look at that. I'm going to show you how flaky this fish can be. What I want to do is I want to take some cracked black pepper, put some cracked black pepper on, and we're going to dive in. Right here. Hoo-wee! Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. Look at this. I want, hold on. Let me fix my camera, guys. I need to pull the camera up a little bit. It doesn't get any better than this. It's nice. It's flaky. It's beautiful. Let's dip it. Give it a little dippy dip. Just a little dippy dip in the orange glaze. Ooh. Mm, I'm diving in. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh. Mmm. 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 And it melts like butter. My goodness. Ooh, that's good. Mmm, one more taste. Oh. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh-wee, this fish is so fresh. It's amazing. It's so flavorful. Nice and flaky. Look at this. Ooh-wee. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Girl, you are something else in that kitchen. You hear me? Oh, I hear you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. One more try, one more try, one more try. Look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. So, gone, that's amazing. And not to forget about our beautiful asparagus. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. So delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm. Mm, mm, mm. if you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time. Every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your friends and family all about Jeannie Young. Let them know what Jeannie Young is doing in that kitchen daily. And as always... God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.